What's up, everyone? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We are going over the Becoming Your Own Banker book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash so that you can understand the infinite banking concept. This is truly the infinite banking Bible. So if you're trying to understand how infinite banking works, we definitely recommend that you purchase this book. And we have a link to the book in our bio below. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about page 34, which is the arrival syndrome. And we like to basically sum up the arrival syndrome by calling it the know-it-all syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> he starts this section talking about a gentleman by the name of Ed Deming, who was working as a, as a consultant until the age of 93. Yeah. Now, the interesting thing about Mr. Deming is after the World War, he's basically, the World War II, he's basically the person that taught the Japanese the idea of quality. And manufacturing. And manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And I am very, very familiar with uh, Mr. Deming and his work because I came from industrial engineering and manufacturing. <laughs> He's so, an engineer. <laughs> so I, I, I know the, the magnitude of, of what happened. And basically once the World War II was over, he looked for the attention of American business owners and trying to help them improve the quality at their, their factories and their business. Mm -hmm. And basically what they told him is, we are already doing this, we already know that, mm -hmm. which they weren't. Yeah. It wasn't until he went over to Japan at the time after the World War II, they were having a struggling economy mm -hmm. and basically everything that he taught them improved their situation as far as the economy yeah. to what we now know today. The foundation is what they taught them, what Ed Deming taught them when it comes to quality control. Oh, yeah. And after this, mm -hmm. everybody said that he was the best there is, he's the best there ever was when it comes to quality control and statistical quality and control. It's because of this very thing. Mm -hmm. And what we should get from this is, with the arrival syndrome is, you think you know, but you don't know. <laughs> that just ain't so. Yeah, I, what I, I find this powerful, especially with this book. So the thing that I really love about Nelson Nash is he brings in so many different mm -hmm. categories, so many different subjects. We're talking about quality and manufacturing, and uh, how does this relate to banking? Just the stories correlate, and it makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. And we always get people interacting with us when we talk about insurance and oh did you know you can use the cash value in your insurance and they go oh, yeah yeah, yeah I, know I, already knew that. I already know that you can borrow but they don't understand the the financing capabilities that are truly available within life insurance mm -hmm. and so we know this all too well when it comes to the arrival syndrome just talking uh, to our peers in the industry and also just talking to people from YouTube or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. uh, because the industry just teaches people about the death benefit qualities and they may sprinkle in a little cash value knowledge here or there but people really don't understand how to properly utilize the cash value mm -hmm. so that they can maximize their efforts more so people just utilize the cash value kind of like how you dip into your retirement account because you need it for a rainy day situation right and we want to do much more than that we want to make it rain we don't want to use our <laughs> money for rainy days we want to make it rain so um when we talk about the arrival syndrome <laughs> you like that I thought that was funny so um, the arrival syndrome is just all about breaking down processes and philosophies and making sure that you understand it because if I, I'm sure the United States government is still kicking themselves in the butt for not listening to Ed Deming way back when, mm -hmm. because we know Japan for um, all of its amazing technology and automobiles and electronics, whatever the case may be, and that could have been us, but we thought we knew all too well. So uh, I hope that this information was helpful for you guys to understand the arrival syndrome and how it pertains to everything. Mm -hmm. So we're not just talking about banking or talking about manufacturing. What do you think you know that you may not have the a full picture on? Yeah, one thing that I would like to uh, bring out in this section is the fact that he went to Japan and it worked out because they already had a culture of discipline. discipline. Ooh, good point, yeah. Very good point. And when it comes to owning your own lifestyle and controlling the banking function in your life, it's going to require that you have a culture of discipline in order to continue to, continue to save and use your banking system and not somebody else's. Don't revert back to the backwards bike. Ooh, you said a mouthful. Yeah, that foundation of discipline is key 
for anything that you want to do in life. Yes. So we leave you with that. <laughs> so we hope that you like this information. If you like this information, be sure to like our video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.